Good morning guys and girls, welcome to another video. My name is Ryan Roots and I am a professional full-time online reseller. I buy stuff and I sell it on platforms like eBay and Amazon and that's what this channel is all about. Showing you guys what we do, teaching you how to sell stuff online. So today's actually a Sunday, it's a Sunday morning um, and I don't usually work Sundays but I have some stuff that I need to get done up at the warehouse. So I'm gonna head up to the warehouse. Right now I'm sitting outside of a thrift store and I had to charge my car. So I'm gonna go hit the thrift store for like half an hour, that's all I really have, but see if I can find anything cool to flip online. And then I'm gonna jump up to the warehouse and talk to you guys about some stuff that we sold yesterday on eBay. So we had a pretty decent day of sales on eBay yesterday. We did like over a thousand bucks, I think. So I'm gonna go pull some of the items that sold at our warehouse, pull them out and show you guys so we can talk about how much they sold for, how much we paid for them and all that good stuff. So come along for the ride, smash that thumbs up button for me. It's gonna be a good day, let's go. rain is crazy it's coming down out there um, it's it's I'm happy though because we got the land out there at least regraded so the water isn't coming against the building because we're having those like kind of flooding issues with the water coming in um, but we got it regraded the right way now so now the water is at least pulling back towards where the retention pond area is so I am happy about that. So the thrift store, um, I found four items at the thrift store. Got a couple pairs of shoes. Um, I picked up these Asics running shoes. They are gel Kano 21. And one thing about Asics shoes is if you look under the tongue of the shoe, there's always a model number right up there and you can use that to look up the item on eBay fairly easily. So like this one is T4H7N and these shoes were half off of 698. So I only paid $3.50 for this pair of shoes and we should get around like 35 to 40 bucks for them. Some more shoes, these are a bigger size I think, size 13, no size 14. So men's size 14 Air Max shoes, these were also half off, half off of 20. That's the reason I got them is because they were half off. So I paid $10 for this pair and looking at sold comps on eBay or active and sold comps on eBay, model 806771-409, I'm thinking 50 to 60 bucks shipped on this pair. And then something a little different, maybe a new brand for you guys. The brand is called Trip, T-R-I-P-P, -P, New York. Uh, we've sold like the pants and um, we've sold, I think like overalls. I saw that label, it says Scale Animals. Scale, an scale Animals? By trip. <laughs> it's a pretty cool little hoodie. These little animals on it. This tie at the bottom. But yeah, it's a pretty just simple little hoodie. Paid $3.98 for it. And I found a sold component for, um, I think it was 50 bucks. So conservatively, let's say, let's say $4 into 40. And then this item I just bought because I liked it. Um, I don't know what the value of it is, but I couldn't pass it up. I was trying to find a date on it to see if it was a 90s piece or not, but we've got a really cool Yu-Gi-Oh full-size blanket and it was cheap too. It was only $3.98, so I don't know. I thought it was cool. I thought maybe one of you guys would want it, but so yeah, Sunday into the thrift store. It didn't disappoint. At least I found a few things, so can't be mad about that. All right, so now some stuff that sold on eBay. Um, I'll actually start with these two shirts over here on the wall. So this Grateful Dead size medium shirt sold for $115 plus $6 shipping. This one is a 1995 Grateful Dead piece on the original liquid blue tag. This is the only liquid blue tag that is true vintage. So this one is 1995, and like I said, it sold for around 120 bucks. This Kiss shirt, really, really nice condition on the crispy all sport tag right there. This was a size large. So this one's a little bit different. Um, so the person, and I don't condone doing this, by the way, but <laughs> um, the person was shopping through our stuff on eBay and they realized while shopping, while looking at stuff, that it was our store. So they knew that we were Rally Roots from YouTube. They, they just stumbled upon the shirts on eBay. They weren't like watching our channel, saw the shirt, went to our eBay and bought the item. They were just on eBay looking for vintage tees and they came across ours and they were looking at them and then they realized, oh, the hip lion store, that's Rally Roots. So they saw the KISS shirt that we had listed. I think we had it up for like $275. And they live in Canada and to buy the item through eBay, they would pay import duties and global shipping fees and it's expensive. 
So they decided to reach out to us on Instagram and instead of going through eBay, we did the transaction direct and they paid $200 shipped. So 200 bucks and we're shipping it directly to them in Canada. So it saves them fees, it saves us fees. Um, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to sell stuff off of the eBay platform, but I, you know, I still kind of consider that an eBay sale. So this, this t-shirt sold for 200 bucks. And then the rest of the stuff I wanna show you that sold is over in our inventory. So come with me, let's go find those items. Actually, before we do that, I need to replace those two tees that I took off the hype wall. Let's do the Casper promo tee and the Lion King nice Disney tee. By the way, guys and girls, all of these shirts that you see up on the wall and this one actually that I'm wearing, um, we're gonna auction off all of these shirts live on our Instagram account. So Rally Roots, at Rally Roots on Instagram. We're gonna go live on Instagram and auction all of these. So all five of these, this, this shirt and some others like, check this one out. Ever seen a Jumanji promo tee for the movie? Are you game? Jumanji, single stitch on the bay side tag, pretty crazy. So yeah, we have a bunch of t-shirts that we're gonna be auctioning off on Instagram. So go follow us and we're probably gonna go live. Um, it'll be, I think on the 1st, on August 1st, we're gonna go do our very first live auction on Instagram. So go follow our account and we'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, let's go grab those other sales. So this sold, this is a big ticket item that sold. This was actually one of my personal watches that I just didn't wear anymore. So I decided to sell it on eBay. It is a genuine tag. It's a really nice watch. I just. I hadn't worn it in a while, so I just decided to sell it in good condition. Um, this sold for $700 shipped. Next is this pair of women's Fry boots. Great brand, by the way, Fry boots. They sold for $50 with free shipping, and the custom label on this one tells us that it's on rack D. So we actually haven't even labeled our shoe racks yet, but the way that we have it figured out is each rack is a letter, so A, B, C, D. So they should be on this rack, D. And there they are, right there. Here's those boots. Again, these are women's fry leather boots and they sold for $50 with free shipping. We're into these boots for right around 15 bucks. Next is a pair of jeans in bin AH. I think it's this last pair, size 25, 28. So this pair of vintage Levi's straight leg jeans. This was from a Western store buyout that we did Quite a while back, we sold off 99% uh, of the stuff, but we still had a few items hanging around. Um, this pair sold, and it sold for $55 with free shipping. So these will go in a padded flat rate envelope and ship for around $7.50. And we're into them, I believe we're into them under 20 bucks, so decent profit on that too. Next is a pair of Dansko shoes, Rack C. I think this is them right here clog type shoes they sold for 38 dollars shipped next is on rack j so a b c d e f g h i j pair of keen boots sold where are you keen boots i think you are these and yep that is them so this pair of keen boots sold for 30 dollars plus 15 shipping so $45 shipped for this pair. Next up is another bin item in AK. It is this jacket right here. The brand is Valentina, Valentina brand. We don't typically sell women's clothing, but I think Ali picked this up or it came in like a wholesale lot a little while back, but it's a really cool jacket. It's nice and light. And this one sold for $35 with free shipping. And then the last thing I'll show you is in, it should be an AB. It is a Gerbo piece. This is an older item we've had for a while. There it is right there. It is a Gerbo t-shirt, 2XL, new with tags. It's only sold for 20 bucks. And there you go. There's some of the things that we sold yesterday. Pretty cool variety of stuff, you know? We got the expensive, watch item over there. We got some shoes, we got some vintage tees, some jeans, more shoes. So I think it's a pretty good variety. The jacket's pretty nice. So I pretty much like accomplished everything that I needed to do today at the warehouse. Um, but I'm gonna keep this video going. We'll keep it running and we'll see what happens tomorrow. And we'll just make this a longer vlog. I don't like it when the vlogs are like too short and we don't give you guys enough cool information. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Maybe something will happen and we can share that experience with you guys so and we'll meet up with Allie and Callie tomorrow too so 
See you guys tomorrow. Mario Kart. Oh, nice. Hey, I got you a present. Oh. You want it? Yeah. Hi, Zero. <laughs> what are you doing, little white dog? Huh? Whoa. Oh my god, I love Ooh. it. Damn. That's fire. You like it? Yeah, I Yay. love that. Wow. Legit OG Jurassic oh Park Day. Oh my tea. god. 93? 93. 1993. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Sick. Thanks, babe. Love ya. Love you too. I'm not gonna lie, I get kind of jealous because you could wear kids' old t-shirts. Yeah. And some of the best designs are kids' ones. Yeah, but I can only wear kids' t-shirts. That's true. Other shirts are too big on me. <laughs> so it's the next day now. Um, I figured that for the rest of this video, um, what I want to do is kind of like take you guys along for the ride and explain to you kind of like the process of how our business works from beginning to end. So we showed you like some sales and stuff yesterday from eBay, um, but I want to take you through, walk you through exactly how the business works. So just picked up a few packages from the UPS store. Um, we're going to run a Costco to pick up a couple things. Yeah. And then up to the warehouse. And when we get up to the warehouse, um, Ben's up there taking pictures, Callie's up there shipping. So I can kind of explain to you guys the whole system, which would be okay. kind of sweet. Actually, before we go, I got myself a present too. <laughs> and I've been waiting for this one, so. I wanted to show you guys. I don't know if you guys know this brand. If you can see that. Chinatown Market. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite brands because they make like new bootlegs and just cool shirts. But check this collab out. Whoa. <laughs> wow. In honor of Mike Tyson fighting again. Had to get the Chinatown Market Mike Tyson collab. Do they do drops? And then yeah. you pick up a shirt from a drop? Uh -huh. How fast do they sell out like Supreme Fast? No, no. They don't sell out that fast. No but I just really like this one. Nice. So cool. What do they sell for new, their shirts? Um, I think I paid like 40 bucks for this too. They're not very expensive. Okay. This was a raffle win actually. Shout out Buckeye Nash. Oh, you know what? I just remember what this is, babe. This is actually perfect because yeah. we can totally do a couple's fit pick because I also got a Jurassic Park oh, tee. Oh, what's up? On that old Jurassic Park what? tag. This one's a crazy all over print. Oh, wow. So cool. Is it dated somewhere? Oh, this is the Lost World Jurassic Park one. Ooh. 1997. So you got the, oh, you got the 93 I. one. And I have another one at home, but I don't think it's as old. <laughs> nice. Look, Jurassic Park over the Lost World tag and the Marina tag. Oh, Pretty wow, sweet double awesome. tag. Yeah. Double tagging. Sick. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's go to Costco. Hey, so before we go inside and I show you all this stuff, I just wanted to walk you around our property really quick so you can see where we run our business out of. So this is it, two buildings. One, two buildings on five acres in Florida. Dogs love it here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this building is enclosed and air conditioned. It's like 3,600 square feet. And then this building is not enclosed or, or air conditioned and it is 6,400 square feet. So just under 10,000 square feet of space on five acres total. There's a little trailer in the back that we rent out as well. Also keep in mind that um, we've only been at this property for I think like almost six months, um, but we've also improved it a little bit. It didn't used to be red like this. So we've done some painting, uh, we've got the land regraded. So we've done some work to it, but this is our, this is our third warehouse since becoming resellers and we've grown like gradually. So we started selling out of our home, a garage space, extra garage space and a spare bedroom. And we grew gradually and slowly until we were able to afford to buy this property. So this definitely wasn't like a get rich quick overnight thing. We had to work really, really hard and nothing was handed to us. So we're very grateful for the space that we have now. Um, but yeah, it's a good space. So let's go inside and I'll show you the rest of it. When new inventory comes in, like these shoes, comes over here to Ben. What's this? Are you leaving? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, those are for you to take pictures of. So, oh, very respectful of the inventory. Well, I was just putting it in the bin. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> so everything comes in here, and this is the photography area. All of this stuff will have pictures taken of it here. Is this your stack that you've taken pictures of? Yeah. Nice. See what we got. Some Aussie, some Slayer, some whatever that is, some Madonna, some Aussie, some Bon Jovi. Some good stuff in here. David Lee Roth. 
Sweet. So yeah, photography area for pictures and then it's placed in a bin or like with the shoes, once the pictures have been taken, they'll go over onto one of the shoe racks over here, which wow, the shoe racks are all full now. Callie's been reorganizing things, but so the shoe racks are nice and full. Good job. And then this area where Callie is, that's Callie. Uh, hey. This is the shipping area. Slash like Callie's office area. Yeah, it's a hot mess, but I love it. So, <laughs> so all like our shipping supplies, when something sells, it's picked from there. And then Callie boxes or bags it up and then labels are printed and stuff gets shipped out. And then this section over here, which is pretty empty right now, but this is one of the main areas of what we do. This is wholesale. So as we buy in bulk, all the bulk stuff comes in here and then we sort it out either to be wholesaled on to other resellers, or if it's something that we're gonna be selling individually, then we will get it ready. So like this stuff over here came in. These are shirts that we paid more money for, so they're gonna go up on eBay. Pretty cool Nightmare on Elm Street shirt, No Nukes Body Glove shirt, some Skid Row stuff. So all this stuff will be individualized and then we take it from the wholesale area, put it in a bin, and then the bin goes back over to this section, back to the photography area, and then same thing. Pictures get taken and it either gets hung up on the rack or goes into the bins. Check this one out. Let's play a game. Let's play guess how much this t-shirt's worth in the comments. What do we think? You know, it's just a simple MTV shirt. How worth yeah. is it? Oh, I was hoping you would wear a shirt today so we could t-shirt wars. I can switch into one I was wearing no, no. earlier. That's not, were you wearing one earlier? Yeah, or were you wearing? You're gonna lose though. How do you know? This is a great Donkey Kong shirt. It's true, it is a great Donkey Kong shirt. I was wearing this one. Though. I'm down, that's a fair t-shirt wars. Okay. I do like yours more, but I feel like people will really vibe with the DK. Well, let's see. Let's see if the people will. Okay. Callie, show us some things that sold on eBay. Whoop! Um, things that sold on eBay yesterday. This! What is it? There's small, some... Small stack. Tens unit sticky pads. True. Um, is like $27-ish? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, some chubby shorts. Word. A meatloaf. Ah, true. The t-shirt, the artist, not the actual food, because that'd be gross. It's like 55 bucks, I think. These... The table's coming off. <laughs> are Baby Burks. Oh, Birkenstock. Baby Burks. Birkenstocks. Baby Those Burks. sold for like 40 bucks? 30? 30 bucks? 35 bucks? Probably like 87. Yeah, 1,000. Who knows? <laughs> and then this is... Is that that reader? It's like, is it a foot... Sensor reader thingy? Is that no, what those were? No, no, I think it's for testing like AC units or something. Oh. It's like a tester. I don't know. We got those at a garage sale. We got two of them for, uh, we paid 20 bucks for both of them. And that one sold for like 300 and something. And they're both gone now. Yeah. Nice. Right. And that's Ben's. Ben's. And then we're shipping off all this Atlanta stuff to Shirley. Shirley gets a lot of shout outs in our videos. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you buy stuff. I need to. Hit all this Atlanta for stuff. Address. All the ATL stuff goes to Shirley Authentic. And that's another big thing too that I want to like make sure that we make clear. eBay is just a small portion of our overall business, as you guys can see. We do a lot of stuff off of eBay, so a lot of stuff direct on Instagram, direct wholesale to people, to our students. Um, we do Instagram story sales, auctions. There's a lot of other avenues where we sell items other than eBay, but eBay is still very good for, you know, for everyday stuff like Chacos and Keens and Danskos. <laughs> So uh, for, for eBay, our focus is like higher end t-shirts, uh, mainly concert t-shirts because those seem to do well on eBay and shoes. So that's our focus with like our main public eBay store and everything else we try to do off eBay where fees are a little bit less. Just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. Not just eBay. Yeah. Don't put all your eggs in the, in the same basket yeah. or whatever that's the it. saying that's is. The same. <laughs> Get lots of baskets and multiple eggs. Yeah. So that's kind of like, that's the operation. I mean, it's very simple. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five of us working in it. Um, and we all do our own different things. You know, Mike's in Jacksonville. He does a lot of the buying for vintage. Callie does a lot of our shipping and handles a lot of our mentoring side of things. 
Ben does all of our um, pictures and he takes everything on the phone and then uploads it to Cellhound and then Cellhound actually lists the stuff for us on eBay. So that makes things easier too. I think our promotion still works for that, for their service. I'll put that in the description of this video. But yeah, that service has been awesome. We've been using them for what, like four or five months now? And it's been great. They list li like literally longer, everything. Maybe. Yeah, all the shoes and all the t-shirts that we get, we put through there. So anyway, I'm pretty sure that still works, like 20% off or something. Um, but yeah, so Salhound, and then I don't do much. I just do like videos <laughs> right, <laughs> and handle, everything. handle the, <laughs> the big picture stuff. Don't but, say that. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's not like a, it's not a crazy, like big operation, but we like it that way. You know, we don't, we don't want to um, overwhelm ourselves with hiring 20, 30 people and, you know, getting, getting overextended on certain things. Cause I think that that happens a lot with reselling people like get credit cards they get in debt, they buy a lot of inventory, and they just, they end up overextending themselves and then they're not able to grow in a slow, steady pace, right? So like I said earlier, it took us a while to get to this point, and now that we're at this point, um, we're still growing slowly. We don't want to go, you know, we want to do it the right way. Yeah, don't hire anybody else. No, no more people. <laughs> no I'm more. done. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Oh, let's end this video with uh, the giveaway. So if you guys watched the little like kind of podcasty video that we did, did you like that by the way? Did you watch it? I was working and didn't have the volume up. Oh. So I was just in the chat for a little bit and oh, then okay. went back working. Well, people seem to like it. Yeah. We just like talked about something for 45 minutes. Cool. I saw how cool. long it was and yeah. I saw what was in your hand. So it was probably a good yeah. show. It was fun. <laughs> um, so Casual. yeah. So in that video, we said we would be giving away that, um, the lot of vintage t-shirts and the tote bag. I think it's over here. Giving away or like cop it costing? No, this is a giveaway. Whoever wins it gets it. We pay for shipping and everything. So um, 20 vintage t-shirts and the Rally Roots tote bag. Nice. Let's choose that winner for the end of this video. Can I use your computer? Yes, sir. As I just use it. <laughs> <laughs> you leaving? Yes. Later. Ooh. All right, so there's 463 unique comments so this is a pretty good chance for people actually usually there's like thousands when we do a giveaway 463 is a nice shot winner carrie mccomsky says i hate all the cheap products they say they are from the u.s and aren't as a seller and a buyer i love the cha-ching you answered the question and you win congrats winner winner chicken dinner so shoot us an email Carry hello at rallyroots.com and make sure you claim it within a week. Make sure, hopefully you watch this video and claim that prize <laughs> within a week and we will get it all shipped out to you. And there's some really good stuff in there. So congrats. Stuff and things. We'll do more giveaways soon. Um, we're about to hit 50,000 followers on Instagram. Whoa. So I'm sure we're gonna do some sort of a nice big giveaway there. So go follow us. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what else to show you guys, so yeah, we're going to end it here. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.